Hello everyone, welcome to the Matter Career. This is Matthew Wayne. In this episode of the Matter Career, we'll be revealing and analyzing Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny that's currently in theaters. We'll go over several topics in this review. The movie will start off with Indiana Jones back in the 1940s fighting the Nazis, trying to stop them from acquiring a piece of archaeology to make them invincible. It will lead to an epic battle for this device, which most of the movie will take place in 1969. I'll give my rating to end the review. I'll also let you know how I rate each movie in the franchise from first to last at the end of the review. Hope this episode inspires you to read, watch, and learn. I want to thank Jessica of Detroit, Michigan to help to support the channel by buying a shirt that helps. And to Antonio, Ken, and Peter who are coming patrons on my Patreon page. It is not the matter how much I may make. It is the idea that someone believes in what this channel is about and wants to support it. Please help me like Jessica and buy any merchandise from my website. Or sign up for Patreon like Antonio, Ken, and Peter. Or YouTube wishes. You will say to me that you believe in this channel and you want it to thrive and keep it independent. You can sign up for Patreon as at $1 a month, $5 a month, $10 a month, $20 a month, or as high as $30 a month. YouTube merchants, you can sign up at $3.99 a month, $9.90 a month, $24.99 a month, and you can go as high as $49.99. Thank you. Now on the review. Spoiler warning. This review may contain spoilers. If you do not want to be spoiled, do not continue. But if you do not care, then continue. Thank you. This movie starts off with the Disney symbol with Lucasfilm and the Paramount symbol as well. To be honest, I was not sure they would have the Paramount symbol, but it's good that they did. The first four movies were done with Paramount, and it only makes sense that this one should be as well. As was mentioned before, Indiana Jones stole the Dial of Destiny from the Nazis and later has it taken back to the college he teaches to keep it safe. Indiana Jones wakes up in 1969 in his underwear watching TV. He's a shell of his former self. He does not look like that Indiana Jones of the past. This makes sense as he's gotten older. He's probably in his 70s. To point out this fact, in 1912, in Ian Jones' last crusade, he was probably between 14 and 16 when he was still on the cross of Coronado from the people that were going to keep it for themselves. Indiana Jones bangs on the door with the baseball bat telling one of his neighbors that this is a work day. The guy tells him it's 8 a.m. and that is not that early in the morning. Indiana tells him it is a work day, but as he points it out, so what? There are Easter eggs in Ian Jones' apartment as it has the picture of Jesus on the cross that his father had when they were looking for the Holy Grail. That is one obvious Easter egg that was in this movie. Indiana Jones later gets visited by Helena that wants to find the Dial of Destiny. According to Helena, that this dial was created by Archimedes, and it can travel in time. Her father wanted Indiana Jones to destroy it, but he did not. Could the device be destroyed? That is the big question. Who knows at this point? Indiana Jones later has colleagues get killed by the Nazis who are opposing his FBI agents trying to get their hands on the Dial of Destiny. He later gets framed for their deaths. This is very similar to when Harrison Ford started in The Fugitive, when he got framed for killing his wife in that movie. Ironically, The Fugitive is 40 years old. That movie came out in 1993. It's hard to believe that the, that movie is 30 years old. The scene where Indiana Jones escapes with a horse in the subway in New York City is sunny, as we're not expect a horse to go on a subway and run on the train tracks like it did. It made sense as it was the only way he could escape from the Nazis that were posing as FBI agents trying to get the Dial of Destiny. Helena stole it as she was taking it to be sold at a black market auction. The device was split in two and you had to find the other half and put it back together for it to work. The movie will have a map that is unique to Indiana Jones. The map they use so that you can know where he goes on his adventures to find the pieces he's looking for. This was good that this was there so the viewer got the experience he or she was looking for. The movie will take the viewer through epic chase sequences as Helena and her, with her partner, whose name is Teddy, and Indiana Jones are trying to get the piece back from the Nazis that stole it so they can use it to go back in time. The one called Dr. Voller wants to use it to go back to 1939 so that he can kill Hitler and become Fuhrer himself instead. He wants to be the one to call the shots instead of Hitler. Indiana asks if he was still a Nazi. The answer was yes. The movie will have the feel of the archaeology adventure that the viewer expects to see unlike what happened in the Kingdom of Crystal Skull. This makes sense that viewers are hesitant to see this movie because of the Kingdom of Crystal Skull. But give this movie a chance. This movie will redeem the Kingdom of Crystal Skull and will have the feeling that was mentioned in this review. The movie will end up in Syracuse, Sicily, where the other half is. There is a scene on the water where there are eels in the water. Teddy was saying eels are like snakes. This was going to his fear of snakes, which is classic since the first movie of Raiders of the Lost Ark. 
It has not to be revealed, nothing more revealed here. It does bring the viewer to the climax of this movie. It will not sub another movie in the franchise. Well, give them a rating. I give Indiana Jones the Dial of Destiny a 10 out of 10. It was fun and ended the way the viewer would have liked. The movie will be the fun adventure that you would expect it to be. Indiana will retire from his job as a college professor in archaeology. He is in his 70s and this makes sense for him to retire. A person gets to that point where they say they have done enough and you do not want to work forever. Sometimes it is good for there to be fresh blood. Of course, it does not mean a person cannot, but we all reach the end eventually. What rating do you give this movie? Please leave your answer in the comment section below. As I would have, as how I would rate the Indiana Jones movies, the first top three films are Raiders of the Lost Ark, The Last Crusade, and The Dial of Destiny. These top three films are a tie for me. I cannot say I like one better than the other in this rating. The Last Crusade is on this list because it lent the search for the Cup of Christ and has the field that the viewer is looking for. The fourth film is The Temple of Doom. The content is good, but the gruesomeness of the film is not is what I do not find appealing. The content is good and still deals with archaeology. The last film is The Kingdom of the Crystal Skull because it went too much with science fiction. It did not feel like the archaeological adventure that the viewer would expect it to be. How would you rate the Indiana Jones movie? What is your favorite movie of the five movies? What is your least favorite movie of the five movies? Please leave your answer in the comment section below. Thank you. Please go to the Manicret comment at my website. And you find links on there to other sites such as Facebook, TikTok and YouTube. The store is now live on my site, www.manicard.com, where you can buy merchandise such as this shirt to help support the channel. If you do not want to buy merchandise, then consider supporting me with a PayPal donation. All the proceeds will go to help and support the channel and help me, me to pay the bills I need to pay. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Manicard. This is Matthew Lee. In this video, we open a box that I just got for merchandise. This was a Christmas present from my mother. This is my merchandise, so I'll show you what it will look like. It will come from a company called Hemp Me Hand Creators. You should be able to see a label right here that says that. Most content creators have them come from third parties. It will come from people like Amazon or Teepublic to use as examples. I will now open the box. So, just give me a minute, because I thought I need to use a knife at first, but I did it. And... Here we go, here's the two shirts. Okay, they come in a bag. There's the invoice, you can see right there. It says, the bag says, re-watch and learn. Pretty cool. I didn't know what it would look like myself until I got these, so here we go. I'm gonna put this here, just put that to the floor. And now here are the two shirts I got. They're both white, they're both white as you can see. And it says, here's one that says Matter Credit. This is a large. Okay, these are the type-based shirts. Read, watch, and learn. Let's see how it looks when I put it over my sweatshirt here. I'm going to do that right now. I'm just writing them right now, as you can see. Pretty cool. Looks like it fits. I'll take it off. So let's see what the other one looks like. And here's the other shirt. It says Metacritic, and get this unfolded. This is a medium shirt. It's another tight base shirt. Here we go. And I'm gonna put it on. This one's probably a little tighter since I'm more of a large, but heck, I can't even get it over me, so there you go. I'm glad you got to see the merchandise for my channel. Please go to w.matacritic.com and Click on shop and buy your own set of merchandise to help support the channel it's today. You are supporting me as well so that it will make it easier for me to keep doing this. Thank you. Please check out my playlist review of Lucasfilm, which contains movie and series that review coming up right now, which will be all the Star Wars and Indiana Jones movies and series. Please check out my review of Indiana Jones and the Raiders Lost Ark live in concert by clicking on this link right now. Thank you for watching and reading. Please like this video if you found it helpful. Please subscribe to my channel. Please hit the notification bell so you never miss a video of the bottom of the video. Please have me cover down the road in the comment section below. Please share the video and you know as my channel can grow. Please consider becoming a patron by clicking on this link to my Patreon page or sign for YouTube ministry. You can do be having to join the button at the bottom of this video and it'll come up right at the end of the screen. Thank you and have a wonderful day. Remember, do not forget to read, watch, and learn. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye.